Well, U.S. Secretary of Labor Marty Walsh made two stops in Luzerne County today discussing President Biden's American Jobs Plan and COVID-19 vaccinations. WBRE, WYOU, Eyewitness News reporter Madonna Mantion explains. Nicholas Santana came to the Kirby Memorial Health Center on Wednesday for his second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. While he was prepared to get the shot, he wasn't expecting to see Labor Secretary Marty Walsh at the clinic. I think it's actually very encouraging to see that they're coming out to somewhere so little like Wilkes-Barre and really giving the effort to show support to those that are coming out and getting the vaccine. The former Boston mayor visited the Diamond City to meet with healthcare workers and speak with those getting vaccinated. He highlighted President Biden's American Rescue Plan funding that aided the distribution of vaccines across the nation. 50% of the American people have both shots now, and we're starting to see people go back to work. Uh, if, you know, we want to make sure people get back to work, get our economy back up and running again. Earlier in the day, Senator Robert Casey, along with Representative Matt Cartwright, joined Secretary Walsh at the Pile Solutions in Hanover Township. They met with workers on the factory floor and talked about President Biden's proposed American Jobs Plan. Just as we needed the rescue plan to, to rescue the country from the pandemic, and we needed it right away, now the, the jobs plan and the families plan is a way to rebuild the country. The plan would invest $115 billion into our nation's infrastructure, as well as $50 billion in workforce development. It's going to lead to a lot of jobs when we make those investments. The other thing we have to do is beef up our community colleges and our trade schools so that we smooth the pathway for young workers to come to work in terrific places like this. In Luzerne County, Madonna Mantione, 2822, Eyewitness News. The White House and Republicans have disagreed over what qualifies as infrastructure and how the government should pay for investments. And President Biden and GOP Senator Shelley Moore Capito met today to discuss a possible compromise. They plan to talk again on Friday.